Good morning, YouTube. <clears throat> Talk a little quiet this morning because I don't want to wake everybody in the house up, but I wanted to go over a video of the myths and realities of a shotgun, especially for defensive purposes. And because you see a lot of different things out there, some stupidity, some fact, but I wanted to go over a few of the myths and the realities. First one, with a pump-action shotgun, that if you're in a defense situation, that racking the slide of that shotgun, we've all heard you know, what a pump shotgun sounds like, that racking the shotgun, racking the action, will cause instant fear and terror and incontinence. And for those of you living in Ellenwood, that's crap in your pants. Fear and incontinence and in whoever hears it, not stupid. And one, the first thing is, is you have just given away your position. Everyone now knows where you are. And it's, first off, you don't go into a situation with a gun that's unloaded. If you're going into a defensive situation, you certainly don't want it with anything without something of a chamber. But that sound is a dead giveaway of where you are. They also know what you have for a weapon. So, that's the first mistake, uh, and it's a myth. Uh, the next is that uh, birdshot is a viable defense load. Will birdshot work as a defense load? Yeah, probably. At least as far as if you hit someone in the face with it, yeah, you're going to stop them. But that's, y your, your goal is to stop the fight as quickly as possible. So you want to use the most, the best thing for the job. And that's buckshot. That's what it's designed for. If law enforcement thought birdshot was a good alternative, they'd be using it. The reason they use buckshot and slugs, mostly, you know, slugs being good for just the fact of knockdown power and the buckshot, is because they work. So... There's that myth. Another is that, and you see it in the movies, is that when someone fires a shotgun, they just simply point it whatever direction it's going. And it instantly hits the target. That's not the case. Yes, you point a shotgun versus aiming a rifle or a handgun, but it still has to be shouldered and you still have to use the bead and point that at whatever you're going to hit or you're aiming at. The whole myth of firing from the hip or from one hand, like with a pistol grip shotgun, that you're going to hit something instantly 10 yards away. That's, again, you know, go skeet shooting once in a while and you'll see exactly how delicate that is, especially when you're using, like, birdshot. Now... If it takes a lot to hit one clay target with hundreds of little pellets coming out of a birdshot shell, imagine one target with nine pellets from buckshot. See the, see the problem there? You have less pellets going in the direction of your target. So yeah, you do need to aim. Um, another, is, another Hollywood myth is that when someone gets hit with a shotgun, they go flying backwards a couple of feet. That's not the case. A one-ounce slug is not going to take a 200-pound person and send them across the room. So you can get that out of your head right now as well. You know, that's a Hollywood myth. People don't go flying through the air. And that's <clears throat> another thing, myth with a shotgun. With any gun, but especially with shotguns. And there's a few others, but those are the ones I really wanted to go over. Because it's just the basics of when you have a shotgun. So that being said, I'll, I'll probably cut this in a little short because this was just a quick informative video. But and as I wanted to go over a few things with the myths and realities of owning a, a, a pump shotgun, especially for defense. So that being said, YouTube, do your research if you're going to have a pump shotgun. Test out the correct loads, how it shoots, how well your gun shoots, pattern your gun. Even with buckshot, pattern it and see where the buckshot 
ends up and at the best ranges, whatever, you and which buck shot works best for your gun. Because just you know, some do shoot better than others. And and do your do your correct homework. And don't just assume that because you have a shotgun you can magically point it whatever direction and it's gonna hit your target. So have a good morning YouTube.